Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Uh, today, it's it's a really nice sunny spring day. Uh, April 1st is just beautiful out. Uh, it's like mid-70s. It's just unreal for uh, where I live to be this nice out. But uh, wind's blowing just a little bit, and I lost a little foam thing on my microphone, so uh, you might catch a little wind noise today, but uh, I apologize for that. Anyhow, uh, what I'm doing today, since it's really nice and sunny out, I have my power outage kit, uh, all the solar stuff outside charging. So uh, I thought I'd bring some of the rest of the stuff out and show you guys what I have. Uh, this is for, this is your most basic, uh, you know, things for emergency preparedness. Uh, you know, flashlights, batteries, candles, things like that. Uh, and that's why I call it a power outage kit. So I'm going to zoom in on this stuff and go through it all, show you what I have. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, something you saw in my bug out bag video. These are only 15 bucks, so I went ahead and ordered a second one to throw in my power outage kit. Uh, it recharges your cell phone, has two ports. This is just like the Levy uh, solar charger, but uh, in fact the patent number and everything on the back is exactly the same as the Levin brand. Uh, this is just a, uh, you know, unbranded item. So they're 15 bucks, 5,000 milliamp hours. It'll recharge my Samsung Galaxy S4, and it'll also recharge my wife's uh, iPhone all at the same time. So that's a great little addition to my power outage kit. Second thing I'm going to show you is this. I won this from Navigating Nature. Uh, actually, it was paid forward to me. Jason McDaniel had one, and uh, he wanted to pay it forward to me, so I really appreciate that. This was one of the last things I needed to buy for my power outage kit. Uh, what this is, this is a crank dynamo uh, radio and flashlight. So you wind that up a few times, wind it up for about a minute, and it'll play for uh, quite a few hours. But uh, just to give you a quick example of what it will do, there are no batteries in here at all. I can find a station. There you go. Has weather radio, AM, FM, all that good stuff. And then it also has flashlight, LED, three LED flashlight on the front. So that is a great piece to have for a power outage kit. This, and here comes the wind. This is just a little solar lantern I picked up at the dollar store a couple bucks. You're not going to be able to tell that that LED is on, but maybe if I get some shade on it, you can tell see that click on when I cover up the solar panel anyhow it's not real bright but uh, you know provides a little bit of light uh, power part of this kit that I do not have outdoors with me because I'm outdoors and in the wind uh, we have a couple of board games and things like that for the kids so uh, I'm not gonna bring those out in the wind next thing is these are the little solar lights that you uh, you know garden solar lights that are like a couple bucks a piece at Walmart uh, these will actually stick in a candle holder, believe it or not, believe it or not. and uh, cover that up. has a little LED light in it. Uh, not too bright, but you put three or four of these around a table, and you can play your board games with the kids, keep the kids entertained. Uh, the next thing is, this is a 12-volt uh, solar panel. Uh, I'll leave a link to it. Uh, I got it off of eBay for 35 bucks, and it came with this battery. Uh, this is a 5 amp hour, not milliamp hour, 5 amp hour uh, camera, uh, what, uh, what actually kind of battery it is. Anyhow, I mean it's a deep cell style of battery because it is made for uh, like electric wheelchairs or, you know, electric scooters, things like that. So, uh, you know, it'll run something for a very long time. The basic reason that uh, I got it. I got this and the battery together for 35 bucks. Um, the reason I bought it was for cooking. Uh, we have an electric stove, so if the power goes out, uh, you know, during the winter time, I wouldn't want to run the barbecue because propane doesn't work real well when it's cold out. So, uh, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Uh, we can run an electric skillet off of that, or we could, uh, 
you know, recharge battery on a laptop, things like that. So uh, I also have a DC inverter. Uh, I need to go grab that real quick, but before I do, I forgot to grab that before I came out. Uh, we also have, you know, a bunch of rechargeable batteries. I pull these out, you know, every couple of weeks or whatever and recharge them. Uh, right now, I actually have two of these. One of them's in the house recharging uh, the last set of batteries that I'm recharging today. I also have uh, one of these single chargers for 3.7 volt. Uh, you can put, you know, like your, this in here has a 14500. Uh, it'll also charge an 18650. Uh, and that, this I got from Mark over at Oregon Bushcraft. Uh, that's where the sack came from too. But just a cool little candle with, uh, you know, chain on it so you can hang it up and uh, kind of acts as a lantern if need be. I also have a bunch of tea candles. You know, very basic stuff. This also came from Mark over at Oregon Bushcraft in his giveaway. And probably can't tell out here in the light but that has a little LED to it kind of handy I just decided to throw a few things that he sent me in in this kit and uh, I think they'll work out pretty good uh, your other basic necessity flashlights uh, this is one of those cheapo uh, knockoff ultra fires uh, 18650 battery it's supposed to be it claims 2,000 lumens but there's no way in hell. Uh, this is a Life Gear flashlight. Has nine LEDs in it. Uh, not terribly bright, but it's definitely uh, bright enough in the house when the you know power's out in the middle of the night. This also has a red light for night vision and has an SOS signal. And then this was the other thing I won in uh, Oregon Bushcraft's giveaway. Uh, just a little uh, LED flashlight. It'll run off a AA or a 14500 rechargeable. Like this one here. Uh, is there anything else in there? Oh, yeah. And then, uh, this also came from Oregon Witchcraft. It is a little USB light. Uh, let's see, I'll just plug it into this. Real quick, there goes my sack flying. So I'll go grab that uh, inverter and be right okay, back. Okay, the last part of this kit before the wind knocks my camera over again and destroys it. I just have a small 350 watt uh, DC to AC power inverter. Uh, this is not not the greatest inverter. I've had it for quite a few years, but uh, I mean it's not big enough to run a microwave or anything like that. But I think it'll it'll power the refrigerator. I'm not sure. Uh, I need to test that. It will run the deep freeze. I do know that. We have a small chest freezer. So uh, it will run that. And uh, I mean it would run several things. But between this with that battery and recharging it with a uh, solar panel if needed. Uh, you know like I said we can run an electric skillet or something like that to cook supper at least. So uh, usually around here the power doesn't go out for too long so hopefully this would be enough to get us by uh, a little bit of entertainment with the board games like i said uh, we have rechargeable batteries to put in the kids toys things like that uh, weather radio just in case you know all the flashlights lights all that good stuff so there it is my power outage kit all right guys so let me know what you think uh you know tell me what you have in your power outage kit or uh you know, if you're putting one together, or maybe this will give you some ideas if you're wanting to put one together. So, uh, that was just some quick ideas. Like I said, there are other parts to it, but I didn't want to bring them outside in the wind. Uh, the main reason I shot this video today was because the sun was out and I was recharging my uh, all the solar stuff. So, uh, that was about it. Uh, I'll leave a link to that solar panel with the battery, that little kit that was for 35 bucks. Uh, I think it's a great, you know, it's small and uh, it doesn't take long to recharge that uh, battery, but it'll uh, operate things for quite a while. Uh, I'll also leave a link to that Kato uh, emergency radio. They're like 20 bucks. Uh, 
that's about it. Oh, I'll leave a link to that uh, the solar power bank uh, for recharging your phone. I'll leave a link for that too, uh, just in case anybody's looking for something like that. Uh, like I said, it's the same as 11. Patent number is the same, so model number is the same. I'm assuming it just doesn't have the name written on it, so they're charging, you know, half as much. Uh, anyhow. I'll leave a link to all those things. I'll also leave a link to Navigating Nature. Uh, he's the one that sent me that Cato, Cato radio. And uh, I'll also leave a link to uh, Oregon Bushcraft uh, for all the little, you know, gadgets that he's, all the little uh, USB gadgets, things like that he sent me. Uh, so uh, just for, uh, show a little support to them for uh, sending me that stuff that I want in their giveaways. So uh, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.